Well, hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Mama Cherry, on this bright and sunny, wonderful Easter Sunday. Now, I know when this comes to you, it won't be Easter. It'll be past Easter. But today is Easter. And it is a special Easter because I think probably for the first time, well, I know in my lifetime, and I'm sure in most of your lifetime, you've never had an Easter where we are all isolated and stuck inside. Okay, hopefully you're not by yourself. Hopefully you've got someone with you, none of your loved ones. But in this time of isolation, when a virus is taking over the world, we all need to come together. And I thought the best way to do that would be with my unity cake. Oh yes, I say unity cake. I've decided to come back at you with one of my favorite cakes, which is a pound cake. It's going to be made slightly different because normally when I make my pound cake, it's made with kind of like a vanilla and lemon base to it. But this one, because I'm calling it my unity cake, I'm going to be making a black and white cake, okay? So it's going to be two-toned because I want the world to come together as a one-tone. You get me? I know you got my drift. So I want to try to get into this because... I want you to watch it to the end. So I'm not going to keep talking all the way through. I'm just going to keep cooking. So the very first thing you want to do is get yourself a nice buff. Turn your oven on. Make sure it's on. Mine is on. Heating up. I've got my oven set to about, oh, what is it there? 200? Yeah. So it's about 350, 400, um, 400 um, Fahrenheit. Now, what I want you to do, set, no, Fahrenheit is the other one, 350. You're, you're right, I know right. what I'm talking about. I'm just, just testing it out. Yeah, testing me. <laughs> so, get you some softened butter and basically line your pan, okay? I am using, for you diehards who know me, this is my grandmother's um, cake pan. It was given to, passed down to my mother, who passed it down to me. And I love it. Makes the best pound cake in the world. So just get that. And then get yourself a little bit of flour. Put your flour in. And just dust it. Okay? That's it. Then set it to the side. I'll sit here at the front because I don't need it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some butter. Now, it's a pound cake. Pound cakes call for a lot of butter. This is about 400 grams worth of butter. And you want to basically just cream your butter. And it works best if everything is at room temperature. Now, to that butter, I'm going to add some sour cream. I'm going to put a whole tub of sour cream. This is going to be a quite rich cake. But I think in times like this, we all need some richness in our life. And if you can't get it in a monetary fashion, get it in a fooditary cash fashion. <laughs> okay, so let's just get that mixed up nicely. Really whip it nicely. You want it nice and fluffy and light. Okay, now I'm going to keep whipping this for a while. I'm going to keep the camera rolling. But when it comes to my editing, I'll probably edit out some of this. Because, like I said, I'm going to try and get this video under 15 minutes. So y'all stick with me. Okay. There. I want you to pop in the comments what you're doing on this Easter day. Now, mind you, it won't be Easter, but what you're doing on this non-Easter day, okay? And I want to mainly, I just want to thumbs up saying, Mama, I'm safe. Because that's the main thing I want to know, is that you are all safe. Okay, that's looking good. Now, to this, we are now going to add some sugar. Calls for a lot of sugar. So let's just get a little bit at a time in. Okay. 
doesn't look like this bowl is going to be big enough. But you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm going to be dividing it halfway through. Get more sugar. Lovely. Nice and light. Get more. Okay. Great. Now, stop this. This egg stage, we're going to now add eggs. It calls for six eggs. That's an awful lot of eggs, but we need them. So, here we go. I've got, got my eggs here, and I'm going to crack these eggs. Ooh, that's got the sugar in it. I had an empty bowl, I thought. Mmm. All right, I can I can crack them into there. Because I like to crack my eggs separate just to make sure they're fine. Great. Okay, there's a little bit of shell. Let me just get that shell out. Okay. So, one egg. Oh, my hands are all eggy wiggy now. <laughs> all right. Mix it in. Next egg. Okay. I'll put that one there. I'm going to crack my next one and put it over there. Just kind of cheating along. Okay. So that's two, that's three eggs now. Again. Great. Stop it. Let's get the next ones. We're almost done. Oh, big piece of shell. Best way to get shell is with shell. Okay, come on. There you go. Got it. Put the next one in. These are nice big eggs. Big, big fresh eggs. Now, even though we are shut in, I am considered one of the key workers because I am a foster care, as well as, as you know, my Katrina has an incurable disease. Therefore, she has been in lockdown now for four weeks, so I am permitted to go by and visit. Um, I don't actually enter the house. What I tend to do is I pop over, check on her and the kids, drop off some food downstairs, they come out to the door, I stand on the street, we chat for a bit, and then sadly I have to depart. So I'm going to take them some of my Easter Unity cake to them this afternoon. Okay, great. Now, at this stage is when we're going to add our flavorings, okay? So, we're going to add some vanilla. So, let's just put a touch of vanilla. We're going to also add some lemon. Okay, I'm going to mix all of these up in a sec. And some coconut. So, let's get these all blended in. I'm telling y'all now, oh, the smells coming from this batter is irresistible. Damn! Woo. Woo. Make you want to jump. Now, this is important. At this stage, let me just leave that like that. Let me get rid of these eggshells. Get these out of the way. All right, so we're now going to halt because I have another bowl here. And what I'm going to do is I'm taking half of my flour 
and I'm going to be mixing that with some cocoa powder. So let's just get this because remember I told you it was going to be a black and white cake. So let's just mix this cocoa powder right now. There we go. Give it a good mix. Oh, here we go. Let me say, don't be turning off. I'll tell you when. Happy Easter. Hey, I'm all right, but guess what? I'm in the middle of a video. Let me ring you back. I'm, I'm, I'm making my unity cake. Okay. My black and white pound cake. I'll get back to your sister. All right? All righty. Bye. Okay, so that was Andrea. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. There's our flour mixed. So I'm going to move that to the side. Now, in this bowl here, I am now going to divide my mixture. Okay? So let's just give this a good stir. Okay. So I am now going to add. Let me see. Do I, yes, I have to do it this way. I'm going to get half of this in here. Perfect. And the other half in here. Now, to the chocolate one. Oh, I can feel me. Moistening up on you people. You know me, I get all hot and sweaty when I get excited. So, to this one, I have got some salted caramel. So I'm going to just add some extra flavoring of my salted caramel. And this is to the chocolate side, okay? I'm not putting that flavoring in the white. So let's just mix that in. Okay, so since I've started on this side now, wait a minute, let me get that Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's it. My beaters are clean. So, over here now, it's a matter of mixing, of beating our flour. So I've got some plain flour here, but I'm going to add to that some baking powder. It's actually self-rising flour, but I still add my baking powder to that and some to that. Okay, let's just give that a stir. Give that a stir. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to put some of our cake, some of our flour mix. And then you're going to alternate with a touch of buttermilk. So that's my homemade buttermilk. Get more flour. Pour it all in. Just get, make sure you get all the way to the sides. Turn it up, whip it up. Let's see her. Oh yes. Oh yes. I'm a believer. You know I don't want to deceive her. Okay, now over to here. Let's just put that to the side. Pick this up. Now, a little bit of our chocolate. Touch up your buttermilk. That helps loosen it. Rest of our flour in. Turn that down and just stop that a little bit. No, I didn't say you to stop. No, no. 
I'm just turning it so I can get this all in. Get the rest of that buttermilk. And back to our beef. And then the next thing is going to be is going to be to combine this, okay? So here we go. Turn it up. So, let's just lay this down, let's use this just to get, you want to make sure you get all of the dry bits, okay, you want to get it fully blended, so you might have to give it a little stir, but that looks good. Now, let's get another one, here we go, mama needs to wipe down, whoa, getting hot, so, get your pan. Remember, make sure it's coated. Any extra, just throw it on the top there. Here we go. It's time. So, what are you going to do now? You alright there, Phil? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to add a layer. I'll come back to you. Okay, so let's just take this. Now, go right across. Okay, that's our bottom layer, and now let's get the next layer. So when we cut into this cake, hopefully we're going to get like stripes going across. Okay. Mm. Cross like that. Oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Looks good. Mmm. Mmm. I think it's going to taste good. I'm sure it will. Okay, now let's get the next layer. So this one, I'm going to just do little dollops because I want some of this to go right on the top enough to go on the top. So there we go. And now let's put these dollops on the top of those. Oh mercy me. Yeah, you should know me by now. I go to bed at night like most folk folk do. But I dream a dream of cakes to come. I dream a dream of food for you. And this morning, I don't know, as I watched, I went to church online virtually. And while I was listening to the sermon, something just came to me. And it just overwhelmed me. Saying, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to lick my finger. We need a unity, Kate. We need unity. We need to bring it all back together and that's what I'm trying to do bring it back bring it back bring it back to me all right <laughs> oh this is gonna be good because this is all gonna kind of melt down into it one is. It is. big unity pot mixed cakes no mistakes, mix cakes. No, I said mix. Oh, never mind. I know what you said, <laughs> and I just came at you with another one. All right. Okay. Mm. Mm. You know what? Actually, on Wednesday, the 15th, it's mine and Phil's 20th year anniversary. And I think I'm going to upload this as my unity 
rotisserie cake. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get this bad boy edited and ready for y'all. So, that's it for the recipe part. Y'all can see I'm still just a liquor. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> this cake is good. So, I'm going to put it in the oven. Come back to you when it's cooked. Takes a while. It's going to take at least an hour to cook. But you know what? That's an hour I um, can't wait to wait for. See you in a bit. Stay safe. Coming back at you. Turn it off. Okay, now while that cake is cooking and I'm doing the dishes, I just want to tell you something. We have a brand new website. New and improved. You know, in this time. Do you know what? We did this whole video with no lights. I sure hope it's got some lights. It looked pretty lights. I hope it does, because I'm just looking up thinking no lights were turned on in the making of this video. Phil, did it look light enough? Yeah, it I did. hope so. Because <laughs> I just realized we didn't turn our lights on. So, coming back at you. What was I saying before the, I noticed the lights? The website. Oh, yes, the website www mama cherry soul food make sure you go there and check it out it is fabulous is there a dot com in there yeah it's dot dot com but you just type in mama cherry and it child we got this thing hooked up you type in mama cherry it's gonna take you there i'll take you there a bit like the staple singer oh there. yes it will yeah. all right yeah. see you in a bit okay so i have just taken it out of the oven let's see Oh yes, oh yes. Now let's see, flip it back upside down. Pound cake. Oh, yeah. mm. oh those are extra bits. Yeah. Mm. Mm. We'll cut it later. Coming back at you. Yum yum. Well, peeps, I was gonna wait to cut this cake, but I'm sorry, we couldn't wait. It's just that good. We've had our dinner. Our Easter dinner. Let me just show you what we had. We had some roast pork, mashed potatoes, vegetables, gravy, and now cake. So, with a little bit of peace, ow, and a whole lot of love, ow, and so from my mama. Enjoy. Stay safe. Stay loved. And try not to upset people too much because I know it's getting hard being stuck inside especially you people out there that got children and teenagers I'm praying for you <laughs> yes I am okay so enjoy see you next time and I hope you're enjoying my series on soul in the bowl the cookbook check out my website you'll be excited when you do bye